now just one more look at that awesome view of Lake Wagatuga before we take off this morning again got about 17 miles ahead of us so we probably need to get walking but it is kind of hard to walk away from that view So, I just want to talk real quick. Uh, uh, last night at the shelter, it was me and three older gentlemen, uh, all of which were in their 60s. And the thing that just really stood out to me this morning is as the sun was breaking over the horizon, they were all out taking pictures of it. And it just occurred to me like how awesome that is. How awesome that these guys are out here. They're advancing in age. They're starting to have medical problems. They're all complaining about uh, back and knee and ankles. And they can only go eight to 10 miles a day. And so there's limitations that they have, yet they're looking for the promise in life. Uh, they're looking uh, for the sunrise. Uh, they're not focused on the lesser things, uh, but they're trying to focus on the greater things. And I guess that's just one of the things that I love about being on the AT is most everyone is focused on the promise in life. Pretty cool stuff. Hey, got to kind of look through the trees, but just another great view of Lake Wagatugu in the morning. Mm. as the sun starts to play off the water. There's a great view of the sun playing on the water. Mm. I could just pull up a chair and just sit here and look at it all morning long. But that wouldn't get us where we need to go, so let's hike on. Okay, I guess there is the correct spelling. Watauga. Watauga Lake. And we are almost at the lake itself. Everybody. So we've just climbed out of or away from uh, the Watauga, uh, Watauga Lake and now we're entering the Pond Mountain Wilderness and uh, we'll be going uh, about another eight miles to uh, Dens Cove where we'll hopefully be staying at Bob Peoples Hostel. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's Bob Peoples, a AT Hall of Famer. So very much look forward to sitting down chatting with him. So hopefully we make it there and uh, he's already promised us a room. So should be good. So 
let's hike on. Well, we made it. The climb out of Lake Watoga. Uh, wow. That was three miles of pretty much constant uphill. Not a crazy grade, but a good medium grade. And then, like I said, three miles of it. So hopefully the next four or five miles is uh, pretty easy on us because that took a little wind out of the sails. Well, I was just about ready to snap into a Slim Jim. Uh, and I thought I'd stop and take this minute one more time. Uh, Gadget left me these monster sized Slim Jims. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, thank her, thank Ambassador, and thank uh, Woodpecker for coming and, and seeing me the night before last and into yesterday. Very great morale booster, a uh, great way to resupply myself with a lot of, without a lot of headache on my behalf. Really, it was no headache on my behalf because they brought everything I needed. Uh, and so really cool that uh, the three of them uh, could come see me. And yes, uh, we rested on uh, Woodpecker uh, for my nephew uh, because he's always making sounds when he's in the woods. And so we thought uh, Woodpecker would be an appropriate name. So thanks again to uh, Gadget, Ambassador, and Woodpecker. And now I'm going to snap into a Slim Jim. There it is, everybody. We have crossed another milestone. 600 miles in our journey on the AT. We have went 600 miles. Fact. I guess it's snake day. This guy is just out here sunning himself, having a good old time. He's a big one too, man. But it's like just a rat snake. Let him go his own way.
strange looking flower. Yeah. Another flower I've never seen before. Droopy pink. So 18 miles today and we're here at the Kinkora Shelter, or excuse me, Kinkora Hostel. And this hostel is run by Bob Peoples, a Appalachian Trail Hall of Famer. And so it's a little older shelter, uh, harkens back to probably the, or little older hostel harkens back to the hostels of uh, 20 years ago and so uh, really we're here by ourselves uh, well Bob and uh, uh, a neighborhood kid he looks out after Rio is here uh, but we're the only hiker staying here and so uh, really great night talking to Bob. He is just a wealth of information about the AT. And so uh, they don't have a lot of the amenities that they have at other hostels, but just really glad we stopped here because uh, uh, we sat up talking to him for really probably two hours. He's retired Air Force. So, of course, we talked about the military, we talked about the AT, just talked about a lot of stuff. And, uh, again, really good evening. And so, uh, now we're going to go to bed, and uh, hopefully tomorrow before he leaves, he's got to take Rio's home, Rio home, uh, but hopefully before he leaves, we'll get a chance to talk to him because uh, I would like you guys to meet him. So better get to bed so we can get up early and hopefully get that done. So have a good night.